Despite delays and opposition from some groups, the initial rollout of the vaccination for children aged 5 to 11 will finally push through today. Several hospitals, schools, malls and gymnasiums will serve as vaccination sites, such as this circus-themed vaccination site in SM Aura in Taguig City. Just today, authorities expect to vaccinate around 1,000 children in six pilot sites in Metro Manila, but a total of 38 sites are expected to open in the capital region this week. There are also five vaccination sites in Central Luzon, three in Calabarzon, and one in Cotabato City, which are expected to open during the national rollout of pediatric vaccination on February 14th. So far, 160,000 children have registered for vaccination, but authorities expect the number to reach half a million. Last Friday, 780,000 doses of reformulated Pfizer vaccines for children arrived in the country. The government expects to receive over 1.5 million more doses this week. Vaccines are Carlito Galvez assures parents that COVID-19 vaccination is safe and has been carefully studied by experts worldwide. Napaka-emotional sa atin. Isasabi nga natin na may kagat sa puso dahil nakikita natin pwede na magsama-sama ang pamilya sa paglabas. Pangalawa, ang ating mga kabataan ay hindi na natin i-restrict at sila po ay pwede na pong maglaro at magkaroon po ng face-to-face -face learning. Kailangan, kailangan po natin ito para mapakalagaan po natin ang ating social development ng ating next generation. However, despite the support of at least two groups of pediatricians, at least two parents filed a petition in court to stop the rollout. They cited a provision in the guidelines that would allow indirect mandatory vaccination of children. Meantime, some metro mayors have aired their views on how the initiative should be implemented. Details from our correspondent, Stanley Gahete. Children's party. This was how San Juan officials described their plan on the initial rollout of COVID-19 vaccines for children at the Phil Oil Arena. Gusto ni Mayor Francis na maging relaxed ang atmosphere bukas. Uh, maraming pong mang, mapapanood at mangyayari dito sa arena. There would be coloring activities, a film showing, magicians and cosplayers to entertain the kids. Since mga bata pong babakunahan natin at may kasama po silang magulang or guardian, ang nakaschedule lang po natin per day ay mga nasa 1,300 para po mas manageable ang situation, mas maluwag at hindi po masyadong magulo. San Juan residents will be prioritized. They will accept vaccines from other LGUs once they finish inoculating the city's 5,000 children. Birth certificates are required together with the parents' or guardians' authorization. The National Children's Hospital said it can accommodate 300 pre-registered children. May mga contingency plan naman. Marami naman kaming nakapost na doctors, nurses, vaccinators dun sa mga vaccination site namin. The Philippine Heart Center, meanwhile, can vaccinate 600 children per day from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. We have particular certain number of people to be vaccinated in per hour. For example, 8 to 9 a.m., 50 people will accommodate 50 people. So, nagkaroon na ng booking before. In the afternoon of Tuesday, we will also be doing uh, vaccination for the 12 to 17. The Nabota City Hospital is also ready for the inoculation activity. There are two sites for vaccination of the 5 to 11 years old. The one is Nabota City Hospital, whose capacity is about 450, and the other one is Tumana Health Center, also with the same capacity. While many are preparing for the vaccination, some are against it. There's a pending petition in the courts opposing the immunization. DOH Memorandum Number 2022-0041 or the Interim Guidelines of the program says that in case the parent or guardian refuses to give consent to the vaccination, despite the desire or willingness of the minor child to have himself vaccinated, the state may act as parents patrie and give necessary consent. Senator Amy Marcos is also opposing the memo. For her, it's a usurpation of parental authority. Mayor Toby Tianco is also against it. While there's a divided opinion over the need to vaccinate minors aged 5 to 11, there's a consensus need to fight the COVID-19 at the soonest possible time. 
Stanley Gahete, CNN Philippines.